Hey there guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom time! Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger! In the last episode, we made things right at Guardia Castle, exposing the Chancellor for the monster he is, and destroying him! Oh yeah, we also annulled, uh, er, amended Miles part of the family again. In this episode, all that is left for us is to defeat Lavos, and we'll start that by venturing into the Black Omen in the year 1000. Oh boy, here we go. So anytime we want to board the Epic, we can just come back here. But I'm going to warn you right now, make sure you're adequately prepared for this because the Black Omen is the longest dungeon in the game. We're probably going to be in here for a good three or four episodes. Probably more than that. Also, Luca's about to die. Did I really not heal up after I fought the Chancellor? Oh. That's not good. Um, why does Tailspin not work? Okay. Well, not like it matters because Luca's dead. Great. All right, well, um, with area bomb. Oh no, apparently that has the same range as tail spin or whatever. Okay, well, I'm gonna use laser spin because I know that will actually work. Yeah, there, okay. And while I'm at this, maybe I should go ahead and heal up Luca. That is, if the game's gonna let me. Please? Okay, thank you. And while I'm here, I'm gonna show off everybody's equipment real quick. As you can see, I got visual hats for mostly everyone. I got this by selling a lot of my old gear and stuff. Uh, I also put the Ozzy Pants on Magus because I boost his defense a little more. And, um, I have the amulet on him still because that, uh will prevent the, uh, chaos from the Aussie Pants. Because the Aussie Pants cause chaos if you wear them. Alright, uh, but while I'm here, um, I want to go ahead and talk about, uh, these, uh, rock items. You've, uh, seen these accessories that you find, uh, these rocks. Give me a moment. I'm pretty sure I have them around here somewhere. Hold on a moment. Where are they? Probably in the eclipse. Uh, yeah, here we go, like the silver rock. Um, if you equip these to somebody, um, depending on who you... I think they have to be equipped to a certain someone. You can look it up or whatnot. I'm pretty sure I have all the rocks. If not, I will show, up, show where to get them on screen. There might be some within the Black Omen, who knows. But, the rocks, they let you use uh, certain triple techniques. They have to be equipped to a person, which means that they can't have an accessory that actually helps them in battle. Aside from the rock, which gives them the triple technique. So if you have an accessory you like on a character, which is pretty much everybody, the rocks are really a no-go, so that's why I don't tend to use them. All right, but now that we've taken care of that, let's head on inside the Black Omen. Fools! Haven't you learned your lesson? We are immortal! We shall live forever with Lavos, who devours this planet even as he sleeps. Within 9,900, or I mean 999 years, He'll become the ruler of this world. The Black Omen is a path which leads to Lavos. It is a shrine which provides us with limitless power. As long as the Mighty One reigns, your dreams are hopeless. You should sacrifice yourself to the Mighty Lavos. <laughs> and I turned into Mahal there for a second. 
So immediately we have a boss fight against the Mega Mutant. I'm warning you now, I think you want to stay away and do not, under any circumstances, attack the bottom. And great, Robo's inflicted with chaos. The only character I don't have protect- <laughs> Way to go, Robo! You show him. Yeah, as I was saying. The only character I don't have protected from status ailments gets inflicted with one of the worst. Alright, well, there we go. Alright, well, um, since we're, yeah, that, that's gonna do a lot. I've got a visual hat on. You can't do shit. So, if I remember correctly, if we attack the bottom, that's a very bad move because it counterattacks us with a, I, I think it's basically a technique that, uh, puts every, automatically puts every character's HP down to one. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what happens if I charm you. Will you give me a present? An elixir. Okay. Not that helpful, but not that bad either. Um, I think I'm gonna wait for a dual technique. Yeah, Robo doesn't. Robo doesn't care about you blackening him. He's fine. Um. Fire kick. Alright, this should definitely finish him off. I don't remember these guys being much trouble if you attack the head and nothing else. Oh, guess I'm actually gonna have to attack you now that big guy's gone. Alright, well, um, I know for a fact that you definitely don't want to. You definitely don't want to attack the, uh, feet before you defeat the big guy. Cause that w Cause I'm pretty sure it counterattacks you with the life shaver art. There I go again, talking about arts like this is Xenoblade. I've been playing Xenoblade 2 recently. That act actually came out a few days ago. Believe it or not, the episode, uh, where we take out the Chancellor, that went up today. Yeah, I- I'm behind on recording, so... I gotta catch up. But yeah. I've been playing Xenoblade 2 a lot lately, and... Good lord. Luca. Is there any better armor we can get you? Because you are really friggin' frail. Ugh. Yeah, I've been playing Xenoblade 2 a lot lately, and that's like the third time I've said that in this sentence. But I really love it so far. I don't want to spoil anything about it, but I'm just saying, if you play the first one, it's very, very different. So far, I haven't noticed any similarities or connections to the first one. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it's similar, alright, because it's the same gameplay style, but there's new mechanics and stuff. Why am I talking about Xenoblade? This is Chrono Trigger. This means I have to do other stuff. Like, talk about these new enemies. Yeah, um, anytime you see these guys, or... It, it, most of the enemies in the Black Omen are just reskins of enemies we fought in the past. And you're going to be a jerk and not come out from behind... Robo, maybe we should have gotten something on you, uh... Oh yeah, sure, now you peek out. Screw you. Okay, well, yeah. If I don't sound my best either way, anyway... Uh, by the way, if I don't sound my best, that's because I've be been recovering from a cold, so... I... Okay, this is a way forward, apparently. Yes, I've been recovering from a cold, so it's pretty much gone now, but I'm still not fully recovered, as you can tell, so yeah. And, oh, I remember you guys. 
When I think of the Black Omen, this these guys specifically come to mind for some reason, but, uh, yeah. I wonder, what do I get from... Wow. Rude. What do I get from charming you, I wonder? Nova armor? Um... Ayla, do that again! <laughs> In the meantime, I'm just gonna, uh... Actually, let's use Flare. It's Luka's ultimate art, basically a stronger fire, too, from what I remember. Oh, yeah, that did a lot. Hear ye, hear ye. I'm gonna take your Nova armor. I think that's actually some pretty good equipment right there. Fetch a pretty penny, too, but I already bought everybody Vigil Hats, which is pretty much the most expensive item in the game. I don't think I need money anymore. For, like, anything. Alright. Come on. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Yep, even in the Black Omen, we still get the same battle theme we've heard throughout the entire game. I mean, you figured we could use... I mean, as I said before, there is another battle theme that's unused. Why they decide not to use it? It's me. And, oh, Lord. What have we here? Shoot, I probably should equip that Nova armor. Um, what I get from Charming You, I wonder. Alright, Robo, I'm gonna... I'm gonna need you to heal us, like, yesterday. Uh, Gold Earring?! Well, I'm interested now. I knew that the... From, you get lots of good items from charming enemies in this area, but I didn't think they'd be that good. Actually, no, I didn't know that they'd be that good, because I know you can... One enemy here will drop a gold stud if you charm it. Which, we really could use another one of those for, like, Chrono, because he, he's still equipped with a silver stud. Which, and since you guys know... Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and get another gold earring. I don't actually see myself using those, but oh boy, they're starting to count down. That's not good. Alright, as I was saying, I'm gonna... Oh my god, I can actually use Tailspin! Show me what this does. I'm curious. I don't remember. That wasn't even that good. Okay, well, it was worth seeing, I guess. All right, there. Ugh. Yeah, but you guys might have thought that was that was a bit of a rush. We're not even we're not even close to being done here. As I said, the Black Omen goes on way too long. It's the longest dungeon in the game, and uh, I am not looking forward to it. There's something else I want to really tell you guys about the worst part of the Black Omen. But I can't tell you that. Not until we get to a certain point in it. You guys will know what point that is because when I tell you the worst part of the Black Omen, you will know what it is. Alright, I'm just gonna save again real quick because if I've learned anything recently, I want to save when I'm in... Dungeons with lots of battles. Freaking factories. Mm. Alright. Oh, well, let's see. We got... What? Where are they? Are you telling me those guys on the walls are the enemies? Uh... Well, let's see what you guys give me. Give me something good. Also, I need to equip that Nova armor. 
Uh, speed tab? I'm on board! Okay. Uh, just attack you. Okay, got gunshot. Wonderful. Yeah, your missiles ain't gonna do a shit to Robo. Give me another speed tab, thank you. Alright. And now I'm getting annoyed. I say we... Right, that doesn't work. Yet. I guess those are proximity uh, skills. So you can only use those when there are certain enemies within a certain distance from you. Alright. Come on! They're literally panels. How have we not defeated them all yet? And... Okay, that was mean. Oh, I'll just hit you with another fire kick. Okay, one down. Come on, die already. Really? This is survived by like one HP. Yeah, there we go. Alright, ooh, look, I gotta level up from that battle. Not a complete waste of our time. I wonder, we get anything special from you? No? Okay. And... Well, we just saw this battle, so I'm gonna skip it because I'm kind. And I don't like to make you guys suffer, even though I'm suffering here. I only make you guys suffer when I'm suffering from something stupid. So, yeah. I'll cut this out. Alright! Hey, we gotta level up from that battle. I'll just go ahead. Oh god, it's Son of Sun again! No, not really. The boss orb? Okay, well... I guess we want to take out the sidekicks first. Because that's sort of what you do. Okay. Well, since we can't use techniques or items, this will probably be a little more annoying than I intended. Come on! We're dying here! Kill that son of a bitch! Oh. Well, in that case... I guess the sidekicks will... Oh, no. Okay, well, good thing I saved if I die. Oh, right! Go, Ayla! Thank God for... Thank God for you saving my ass yet again! Alright, um... You know what? We just picked up some Nova armor. And you guys probably don't have the... Actually, the Moon armor is powered up Nova armor, if I remember. Uh, oh, great. You can't put on the Nova armor. Damn it, Luca. Now I gotta find it for somebody else. Uh, okay. Chrono likes Nova armor. That's good. Uh, how about you, Glenn? Um, uh, Nova Armor, alright! Magus has the Gloom Cape, I'm pretty sure there's nothing better than that. Well, I don't even think we can, uh, use Nova Armor on anybody else, so... Why bother getting any more if we see those guys again? Alright, and, um, I'm gonna heal, because I'm smart. All right, now that we've done that, we'll just keep on going forward and, you know, seeing as I had a moment of pause there, I probably should have put the red vest on Luca then. All right, well, I'm going to attack the boss orb now because I know that I have to, that's the only guy that attacks us and that's totally why I attacked the sidekick. 
to say, boss orb. Attack that guy, the guy who actually damages us. Okay, you're being a jerk. Thank you. <laughs> Good shot, Luca. All right, now as I was saying, uh, you, you probably want to put some red mail on in case you're fighting those guys again. All right, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, first and foremost, I want to heal. So I think I'm actually gonna just Spam one of our techniques for this. Alright, and if there's another boss orb coming up, I want to be sure I. Yep! Long story short, those guys ran away before I could I accidentally kill the boss orb first, so. Yeah, and. Oh god, more mutants. Um, can I just walk past you guys without you caring? No. All right, I had a feeling. Okay, well, we see that they have magic attacks of sorts. So it might be a good idea to put a white male on somebody if you don't like dealing with those lightning attacks. Robo, you just cast Cure Beam on yourself, because you were the only person they targeted, jerks. Since they're made of metal, we'll just throw a Mega Bomb at them. Because that'll hurt them, right? Yeah! Look at that damage. Okay. Wow. Wow, you're cool. They're just going to suck out our life force, why don't you, jerks? Anyway, just... See what they get from Ayla charming them. Get a hyper ether. Okay, they're not worth it. All right, and great. Thanks for sucking out my life force some more. Wow, these guys are jerks. All right. Well, in that case, you know what? I could be a jerk too. Yeah, how do you like that? Now you're dead. Alright, um, I think I'm actually uh, going to take a break here. So next time when we come back on Chrono Trigger, we're going to continue progressing through the Black Element and suffer some more. My commentary has probably been lacking for this episode, but that's because the Black Omen freaking sucks, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode when we continue suffering. Alright, laters!